Welcome, my name is Andreas Dreger and you are watching the Systems Biology channel. In this video, we will introduce SPML Simulator and walk through the process of downloading and installing it. SPML is a file format that stores systems biology models in a structured way. The main idea behind SPML is that a model should always yield identical results no matter which software was used to build it. In this sense, it is a bit comparable to PDF documents that can be opened in many different operating systems and always look the same. SPML Simulator got its name from this file format. As the name suggests, SPML Simulator was initially developed to provide an intuitive graphical user interface for loading SPML models, running simulations and visualizing the results. With version 2.0, its capabilities greatly expanded as we will see in further tutorials. Let's get started by downloading and installing the program on our computer. We open a web browser and navigate to the GitHub page of the Draeger Research Group at github.com slash Draeger lab and go to SPML Simulator. When we click on releases, we can find the latest release on top, currently SPML Simulator 2.0. SPML Simulator comes in two different versions, as a standalone JAR file or as a gadget for users of the Garuda platform that is available from garuda-alliance.org. Once we embed the correct version of SPML Simulator in our Garuda installation folder, we can launch the application from the Garuda dashboard or from any other Garuda enabled software. To run SPML Simulator, we need to have the Java runtime environment installed on our computer, which we can obtain from Oracle or from openjdk.java.net. Let's download the JAR file. Now we can launch the application with a double click within our downloads folder. Since I prefer to run the program in a language other than my system's defaults, I better launch the SPML simulator from a terminal using the command java jar spml simulator underscore version 2.0 dot jar. Note that I am adding the optional argument minus d user dot language equals en to switch the language to English. Just like when starting it with a double click. The application now also opens with a splash screen indicating the version number. The command line has some advantages though. We can pass so-called command line arguments to the program that, for instance, allow us to directly open the, a specific model file when launching the application or customize many other settings. SPML Simulator shows us an overview of all available command line options when adding minus question mark to the command. In the next video, we will learn where to obtain a model file in SPML format and how to run a simulation in SPML simulator. Thanks for watching the Systems Biology channel.